हाई गायज़ वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल रीड शॉर्ट स्टोरीज विद मी एंड द चैप्टर इट्स इट्स अ चैप्टर थ्री द एट स्टोरी द फार्मर एंड द वेल द प्रीवियस सेवन स्टोरीज आर डिस्कस्ड इन द चैप्टर वन एंड चैप्टर टू द फार्मर एंड द वेल इट्स मॉरल इज चीटिंग विल नॉट गेट यू एनी थिंग इफ यू चीट यू विल पे सोन इनफ सो गाइज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक माई वीडियो ऑल्सो शेयर माई वीडियो ऑल्सो कमेंट ऑन माई वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट वन डे अ फार्मर वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ वाटर सोर्स फॉर हिज फॉर्म वेन ही बॉट अ वेल फ्राम हिज नेबर द नेबर हाउ एवर वॉज कनिंग The next day, as the farmer came to draw water from his well, the neighbor refused to let him take any water. When the water asked, uh, farmer asked why the neighbor replied, "I sold you the well, not the water," and walked away distraught. The f- farmer went to the emperor to ask for justice. He explained what had happened. The emperor called on Birbal. Birbal, uh, one of his nine and wisest country courtiers, uh, Birbal proceeded to question the neighbor, "Why don't you let the farmer take water from the well? You did sell the well to the farmer." The neighbor replied, "Birbal, I did sell the water uh, well to the farmer, but not the water within it. He has no right to draw water from the well." Birbal said, "Look, since you sold the well." Uh, you have no right to keep the water in farmer's well either you pay rent to the farmer or take it out immediately realizing that the, his scheme had failed the neighbor apologized and went home the ninth one story is elephant and friends its moral is friends come in every shape and size a lone elf- elephant walked through the forest looking for friends She uh, she soon saw a monkey and proceeded to ask, "Can we be friends, monkey?" The monkey quickly replied, "You are big and can't swing on trees like I do, so I cannot be your friend." Defeated, the elephant continued to search when it stumbled across a rabbit. She proceeded to ask him, "Can we be friends, rabbit?" The rabbit looked at the elephant and replied, "You are too big." to fit inside my burrow uh, you cannot be my friend then the elephant continued until she met a frog she asked will you be my friend frog the frog replied you are too big and heavy you cannot jump like me i am sorry but you can't be my friend the elephant continues to ask the animals she met on her way but always received the same reply the following day the elephant saw all the forest animals drawn in fear she stopped a bear to ask what was happening and was told the tiger was attacking all the small animals the elephant wanted to save the other animals so she went to the tiger and said please sir leave my friends alone do not eat them the tiger did not listen he merely told the elephant to mind her own business seeing no other way the elephant kicked the tiger and scared him away upon hearing of the brave tale the other animals agreed you are just the right size to be our friend the tenth story is when adversity knocks its moral is we can choose how to respond in difficult situation asha was getting frustrated and tired of life so she asked her father what to do her father told her to bring an egg to le to two tea leaves and a potato he then brought out three vessels filled him them with water and placed them on the stove once the water was boiling he told asha to place the items into each pot and keep an eye on them after 10 minutes she asked asha to peel the 
egg, peel the potato and strain the leaves. Asha was left confused. Her father explained each item was placed into the same circumstance. Boiling water, see how each responded differently. He continued, the egg was soft but is now hard. The potato was hard but is now soft and the leaves, they change the water itself. The father then asked, when adversity calls, we respond in the same manner as they have. Now, are you an egg, a potato or tea leaves?